Hi everyone, I'm Ahmad Gad from PTEC. In this lecture, I will start to talk about some important notes in uh, organic chemistry. And at the end of this lecture, uh, I will show you some multiple choice questions. I'll talk about the organic groups and the comparison between hydrophilic and hydrophobic groups, carboxylic acids, alcohols, amines, esters, and amides, ketones, ethers, and finally, I'll talk about alkyl halides. When we compare between organic groups, we have two types, either hydrophilic groups or lipophilic groups. Here, the hydrophilic groups, any compound contain these groups, either oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, uh, COOH or OH, SH, NH, any one of those groups make the uh, compound more hydrophilic. And thus, the hydrophilic group make a hydrophilic bond with the receptors in the body and form ionic covalent or hydrogen bond. And on the other hand, the hydrophobic or lipophilic groups, which is hydrocarbons, either alkanes, alkenes, or alkynes, the single bond, double bond, or the triple bond. And also, the hydrophobic bond is formed by these groups and the receptor in the body. We should know that the hydrophilic bonds is more stronger than the hydrophobic bonds. So it will increase the boiling point of the compound and increase its melting point. So if we compare between two compounds, two organic compounds, one of them containing OH and the other have no any hydrophilic group. So we can expect the uh, which one of them is more or higher in boiling point. The compound which containing OH group is higher in boiling point that, than that that do not containing uh, OH group. The first group that we will study in this lecture is the carboxylic acid group. The carboxylic acid functional group is formed of carbon attached to double bond with oxygen and OH group. So it's called COOH. If we talk about the acidity, any mineral acids like hydrochloric acid, HCl, is more stronger than the strongest carboxylic acid. So if we compare any mineral acid with any carboxylic acid with the acidity, the acidity of mineral acid is more than the acidity of carboxylic acid. Here we will see some factors affecting the acidity of carboxylic acid and the strength of the acid. Any group that gives the acid the ability to donate its proton or hydrogen, this group will increase the acidity of the acid. Our group or any hydrocarbon is a donating group which donates it donates electrons to the uh, other carbon or the side carbon. So it makes it rich in electrons. And then it will uh, not give uh, the proton its proton easily. So our group is a donating group. It is decreasing the acidity of the carboxylic acid. On the other hand, chloride, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur are withdrawing groups. So withdraw the electrons from the adjacent carbon and then the carbon can be easily donate its hydrogen so that it will increase the acidity of the acid. So if we compare between two carboxylic acids, one of them have any group like OH, NH, SH or chloride, fluoride, bromide, those group will increase the acidity of the acid. And the other acid with no uh, of any uh, of those groups so that the acidity is less. In this example, we see here the acetic acid with only CH3 adjacent to COOH. And the other acids, one of them have one chloride atom 
and the second one having two chloride atoms and the third one having three chloride atoms attached to the COOH. Then we see the acidity of each one and find that the acidity of the last one is more than the first one because of the uh, three atoms of chloride. On the other hand, if we compare the other acids, we find that the para methoxybenzoic acid is less in acidity than the benzoic acid because of the para methoxy group which decrease the acidity. And then if we put NO2 group in the ortho, para and meta position in the benzoic acid, we find that the ortho position is the highest acidity, then the para, then the meta. Here in this question, which acid of each example is more stronger than the other. In example number A, or question number A, we find that the second compound having fluoride atom attached to the carbon which adjacent to COOH. We said in the last slide that chloride or fluoride or any halide increasing the acidity. So it will be more acidic than uh, CH3COOH. In number B, we find that there is a chloride atom attached to the second carbon. And the other compound, the fluoride atom, is attached to the first carbon, which attached to the COOH. So here, as the fluoride atom more near to the COOH group, it will increase uh, the acidity. In example number C, here we find that there is uh, three fluoride atoms in the first compound and there is no fluoride atoms at all in the second compound. So that the compound which having fluoride atom will be more acidic than the other. Let us check the answers. Yes, the right answer here, number A, number B and number C. The second group is the alcohols. The formula of alcohol, as we know, is ROH or COH. And there is a three types of alcohols, either primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, and tertiary alcohol. And here, how can we decide if that alcohol is primary, secondary, or tertiary? If there is one carbon attached to the COH, so it will be a primary alcohol. And if there is two carbons, then it will be secondary alcohols. And if it is three carbons, then it will be tertiary alcohol. What about the oxidation of alcohols? Here it is very important to know that the primary alcohol can be oxidized in two steps. The first step is to give an aldehyde. Then the second step is uh, to give the carboxylic acid while secondary alcohol is oxidized in only one step to give a ketone but the tertiary alcohol because there is no hydrogen at the COH hydrogen attached to COH so that it will not be oxidized and actually it is not metabolized the other group in this lecture is amines and amines is like alcohols if we see the types of amines, we here have uh, four types. Ammonia, which have no carbon at all, NH3 only. Then primary amine, secondary amine, and tertiary amine. Primary amine, there is only one carbon attached to the nitrogen. Secondary, there is two carbon attached to the nitrogen. And tertiary amine, there is a three carbons attach it to nitrogen. Amines also can be further classified into four classes. Aliphatic amine, like what we said in the last slide, then aromatic amine, here the nitrogen attached to the aromatic ring. Acyclic amine, like this a compound, here the N or nitrogen is attached to acyclic ring. And finally, heterocyclic amine, which is, which is the nitrogen is one of the composition of the ring. Amines are basic in nature 
and its basicity is less than inorganic bases like sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, or potassium hydroxide. But if we compare the basicity of amines, we find that the tertiary amine is more basic than secondary than primary. And also, the aliphatic amine is more basic than acyclic, than heterocyclic, and finally, aromatic amine, which is less basic or the least basic amine. All of us, knowing that any alcohol react with an acid, it will yield an ester. Also, on the other hand, any amine react with an acid or carboxylic acid, it will give a compound called amide. So if we compare between esters and amide, here, the ester is composed of acid plus alcohol, carboxylic acid plus alcohol. And amide is composed of carboxylic acid plus amine. If an ester is composed or formed in the cyclic uh, structure, it will called cyclic ester or lactone. Lactone ring. Then the lactone ring is an ester in the form of cycle. Also, if amide is attached to ring or it will be in the composition of the ring, it will be cyclic amide or called lactam, like beta-lactam ring, which is the form or the backbone of all penicillins and cephalosporins. A very important note here, we should know that the ester is more easier than amide in hydrolysis. Also, the amide is more stable than the ester. And also, the amide is longer in duration of action than esters. The next group in this lecture is ketone, and its functional group is formed of R, C, O, R. We substitute the OH from carboxylic acid with R group, and the ketone is formed from the oxidation of secondary alcohols. Ether, which is functional group, is R, O, R, the metabolism of ether here, if the R group is methyl or ethyl group, so its metabolism is by dealkylation, removal of alkyl group. So if we here see this example, RCOCH3, in its metabolism, it will yield ROH and remove of methyl group. While if uh, R is more than ethyl group, if it is propyl, butyl or bigger than that, the ether here will not metabolize. And if the R group is a sugar, then the ether will called glycoside. And the linkage between sugar and ether is called glycosidic linkage. So any glycoside is an ether, while not the opposite. Not any ether is a glycoside. It should contain sugar to be called as glycoside. Finally, we will talk about alkyl halides. Here, halide group or X may be fluoride, chloride, bromide, or iodide. And according to stability, iodide is more stable than bromide, than chloride, than fluoride. Also, the aromatic halide is not metabolized. Now, we will start to see some multiple choice questions. First one, the oxidation of which of the following alcohols would yield ketones? We know from the lecture that the ketone is formed from oxidation of secondary alcohols. So, the four choices here, if we find the secondary alcohol, then it will be the answer. First choice is ethanol. Ethanol is a primary alcohol. Second one is isopropyl alcohol. Here, isopropyl alcohol, if we draw the structure here, it will give this structure. We find here from the structure of isopropyl alcohol that this alcohol is a secondary alcohol. So, it is the right answer here. Isopropyl alcohol can be oxidized to ketone. The second question, which of the following would be the strongest acid? Here we compare between those four acids, those four choices, and 
choose the strongest asset from them. First one is acetic acid, CH3, COOH. And the second one is formic acid, HCOOH. From both two acids, which one of them is more acidic? I think here we said that uh, CH3 group will decrease the acidity of the acid. So if you compare choice number A and number B, B will be the more acidic. Then choice number C, here we have three chloride atoms attached to the carbon which attach to the COOH. So it is the choice, it is the answer. The last question in this lecture, the beta-lactam ring is also known as this structure of beta-lactam ring as we said in the lecture. This uh, five-member ring containing nitrogen and attached to oxygen formed amide so it is cyclic amide finally i would like to thank you for attending this lecture the first lecture in organic chemistry thank you and see you in the next lecture